Well, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly paint onto a custom shape, maybe paint it, make it a, instead of being a vector design, you can actually make it something more interesting than that. So now what you can do, just go over here to the custom shape tool. I'm going to use it shape. I'm going to go for black as the color. Oops, click that one instead of that one. Right, so it's gone black there, shape, no stroke. And I'm going to use a custom shape, but of course you could use any custom shape you can find on the web or ones you've created yourself or the ones that come with Photoshop. Now I'm just going to go for a very basic shape there. Let's have graphic extras, custom shape, and apply it as a layer. Now, at this point, you can see over here, shape. What you can do is go to a layer, a new layer. Click OK. And a really, really good tool to create a sort of nice painted sort of uh, design is the mixer brush tool. It might be in a different position for you, depending on customization of your toolbar. I'm going to go with just a very basic default settings. You've got various load the brush after each stroke, wet, 87%. Now you can vary these settings, of course, depending on use. And mix, I've gone for 100%, but you can put it down if you want to make add some more color into it. And that's quite a nice way of adding color as well. Also spray option and sample all layers. That's the key thing here. And now, make sure you select the actual layer, and then just go to the, I'm just going to set that to black. I want to, don't want, well, it doesn't matter at this point, because of course it's not, uh, you won't see any of it. And you can then just add that. And I'm just avoiding the white. You don't, of course you don't have to. You could actually paint in the white as well if you wanted to. You can see, you can actually just very loosely, just quickly sketch in, and you can do different parts multiple layers so I'm just going to do this very so I just go around just create the, and you can see it now over there just appearing over in the layers and of course you can vary the there's a number of settings via the brushes so you can just go there brush just change it if you wish maybe change the thickness stiffness angle etc so I just continue painting there and once you're finished and I'm going to just do a few of those ones there as well just very loosely Setting. So you, you don't actually get that, so you just you can see it's not going into the white, so you can actually just take in some bit of that. Right. Now once you've done those, okay, finish, just finish that off. Now of course you can do it as accurate as you want, depending on what you want to do. And I'm going to leave the middle bit, because what next thing is you can do, you can actually just go, well, layer and layer style and bevel and boss. And you can see you can add sort of like a painted brush stroke to the... And of course you don't have to add this. You don't have to add, need to add any three dimensions. Just leave it just as brush strokes. Perfectly reasonable to do that. I'm just demonstrating you can actually just add there. So now you've got that bit of the design. Now what you can of course do, just deselect that. You don't have to give it then a layer again, a new layer. And I'm just going to now... Go for the central bit. Now I'm actually in this one, I'm just going to use the mix. So I'm just going to click over there, just go down there. So I actually bring in that orange. So you can see the orange again, you've got that again very loosely across. And you could of course go for different colours there, maybe blue or some other colour. That one. In fact, I will do that. So I'm just going to And you can add blue there, of course, all the way around. Brush that in, because obviously you don't want to take forever to do that. And then you see you've got, again, you've got the very rough brush stroke. And again, you can, of course, keep it as is, but you can go to layer, layer style again, bevel and boss. And you don't have to use the same one. You, just, you can actually change that around, depending on what you want. If you want to keep the light all in exactly the same direction, or you want to add maybe multiple of multiple light sources and you can just tweak that and click OK. Now what you can do then of course deselect that again and of course then what you can do is just go to layer, new layer click OK and I'm going to go back up again to 100% so but I have 50% flow wrong one mix set the mix about 50% and I've got blue there but what I'm going to just do I'm just going to create a very loose 
sort of circle design just loosely around that central bit. So I want to sort of focus on that edge, but right. Now, what you can again do, just quickly go to layer, layer style and bevel emboss. And again, you could modify that. You can you have to just keep it the same, change the angle, change the gloss contour, change the depth if you wish. You don't have to keep it that high. Or maybe make it softer, make it even more. Click OK. Now, that's it. Basically, right, so you've got, now you can go put them all back on again, and you've got the whole, got a, a very, very roughly drawn, but three dimensional with different layers. I think, and of course, what you can do, you don't have to actually keep that. You can actually turn around and say, well, I want that, say, blur. So, Gaussian blur. You can actually create a very nice blurry effect to that as well. So you don't have to, you could even apply effects as well to that layer. Now, once you've finished, what you can do then, of course, is you can select all of those. So it's that shape, plus all the various layers of, of brush strokes you've added. And then you can just go to a layer and smart objects and convert to smart objects. Now, as a smart object, of course, you can maybe use it as a source for patterns, maybe store it in the CC libraries for future use as a as a custom shape brush. Now, the key thing also is that the design is still accessible. So you can actually just go there and think, just click on that, and you've still got design. So if you decide, I don't really like that, I'm just going to edit that. Just say move that around. So it's it's not you know casting casting stones. So you can actually turn around and say, oh, I'm just going to move that just slightly, depending on what you want to achieve, of course. And then once you've finished, click there, save, and then it'll be updated, and you can see the designs there. Right. And then of course you can still continue moving around. You can scale it as well. You can just turn around so you don't want that size. You can reduce it down or maybe rotate it and apply other effects and so on and so on. And there you have it, nice sort of painted effect on custom shapes in Photoshop. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.